Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Today I'm having Tadej here and myself Taylor and we will be discussing a term which you can find in, the, in our tables of specifications on product pages of rifle scopes. So the term for today is the eyepiece diameter. So uh, today show me what is the eyepiece diameter. Well this is very simple Theodore. As we can see the lens, uh, the eyepiece lens diameter is actually this diameter here where uh, you actually look through the, through the microscope. But it's, it's actually not a diameter of the lens but it's external diameter. It's from this rubber outside it. Mean, exactly. It's quite, it's quite funny. We can't, uh, we can't actually measure the, uh, lens, the inner lens diameter. Mm -hmm. But uh, as much as we can do, we can measure the other diameter of the eyepiece. The outside. Of each yeah. of it's, it's really interesting because every manufacturer gives the objective lens diameter. Mm -hmm. And also in the name, if, if you have this, let's say this size here, you have 1.8 is the lower magnification, then it goes all the way to 14, which is the upper magnification setting. And the manufacturer also specifies 50 millimeter objective lens. So mm -hmm. the lens inside has a 50 millimeter diameter. But nobody really writes about the eyepiece uh, lens diameter. But we do measure for most of the scopes the external eyepiece diameter. Why is this important? Why is this external measurement important? Well basically it's the most important because uh, when people usually buy a rival scope of course they usually want to offer this product some kind of protection. True. They, mm -hmm. uh, they, they ask us uh, if the rifle scope doesn't include one, they ask us uh, do you have perhaps an eyepiece protective cover or mm -hmm. lens cover or something like this. So if I understand it correctly, this uh, external eyepiece diameter mm -hmm. is important so that you can buy the proper lens protector. Exactly. The proper, let's say for Swarovski. We know that this external diameter is 46 millimeters, so if you buy a flip up cover of 46 millimeters, it fits appropriately. That's and then you have a flip up uh, cover on the eyepiece. That's exactly. On the eyepiece. The procedure usually goes like this uh, the customer asks us if we have the eyepiece diameter, if you have the eyepiece covers for a certain mm -hmm. product. We tell them to measure the, uh, the external, the other eyepiece diameter mm -hmm. uh, and based on those information we get, we can, we can accommodate him with a suitable um, cover of his choosing, for example, Swarovski or any other like Vortex. Or yeah, well, with, like with, with this original it's quite easy. I would say that Swarovski I know only has one uh, eyepiece diameter on all their scopes. Mm -hmm. I think on most of their scopes, at least mm -hmm. the Z6 and Z8 Eight lines. Yes. So they have 46 mm and the same uh, cover goes on all the smalls. The same is with, with Kalas, they have two different diameters, I think 43 and 46. So this is the 46 model, so a 46 model flip-up goes on, uh, on it. Uh, but there are also many producers of, um, of flip-up covers which are non-original. Uh, for those, you definitely need to know the exact uh, eyepiece diameter, the external diameter, uh, and then you can choose appropriate covers for, for your scope, even if you are not buying the, the original accessories. That's correct. The first point um, would perhaps be the price, mm -hmm. because we know that uh, those original covers, uh, they of course Cost uh, come yeah. quite costly mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, the customers ask us for for a certain alternative of course mm -hmm. we have them and uh, based on the information uh, which we require the other diameter of the eyepiece we can then uh, uh, we can then accommodate him further okay thank you today i think we cleared most of the issues in this uh, topic if we forgot anything please use comments below or send us an email and if you liked our videos please subscribe bye